Hi everybody, I just came from Ukrainian parliament where I had kind of nostalgia because there was a massive rally with many many of my friends from the previous Maidans like uh, regular protesters with regular slogans demanding resignation of the Minister of the Interior, Mr. Avakov. A few words, who is Avakov in Ukrainian politics? This is the guy who survived six years, five governments, two presidents, being responsible for the biggest law enforcement in Ukraine, Ministry of the Interior. Recently, the last time he was reappointed was just March this year, where already government of the new era, era of President Zelensky, who declared that you can forget about old corrupting practices, that he is bringing Ukraine fresh blood, new people, new principle, new politicians, new faces. In this government, Avakov is very awkward personality. And even among strong supporters of President Zelensky, his party in parliament, which is called Servant to the People, sounds a bit ironically for Ukrainians. But anyway, even there, lots of people have been openly questioning to what criteria, how the guy who served in six previous governments, how he is meeting the criteria of new face and bearer of new political culture. But anyway, Minister Avakov just in March received whole support of pro-presidential party Sluha Narodo or servant to the people, all 246 votes. And today in parliament was initiative of opposition to call, uh, to invite uh, Minister Avakov and hear his views, his report on what's going on in the country, because we have a number of scandals almost every day. The irony here is that this initiative is coming from opposition. Yes, it was supported by some of uh, members of pro-presidential party. They even signed the petition demanding resignation of Avakov, but it's mostly opposition demanding resignation. The leading presidential fraction who is responsible for this uh, appointment? Uh, looks like they don't believe that this is their responsibility. I understand the role of opposition. The role of opposition, I was in opposition myself when I was member of parliament. The role of opposition is to be critical to uh, pro-government forces, to find some weaknesses, to improve what you can do. But the responsibility for the fact that after so many deaths caused by police during peaceful uh, Euromaidan in 2014, when there was an overwhelming demand to make this law enforcement independent from political wills, and for the members of parliament to take responsibility for human rights, for the fact that there is law enforcement, not government enforcement uh, bodies in Ukraine, we have the same situation. Discussions are there. Is it right or is it correct? Who must demand resignation? And what I say is very, is really troubling me. Because there is no responsibility, political responsibility, neither of Minister Avakov, who today was just uh, trying to impress us by tons of documents, hundreds of cases, lots of figures, but we all know that there is no reform in the police. And he doesn't feel politically responsible for disaster which is happening in his domain. The same lack of responsibility I see from pro-presidential parties, because it's total nonsense, and you will understand me, when uh, one political party unanimously appoints the minister and they are pro-presidential and opposition party is trying to send him into resignation. This is not the way democracy should, should function.